Hello everyone, I proudly welcome you to this quick Microsoft Access Database tutorial brought to you by Datatext. My name is Ako Smila, your instructor. In today's video, we are in a mini employee database that I've actually created for the purpose of this tutorial. So what we are going to actually do is that I'm going to share with you on how to export uh, search results in a sub form out of Microsoft Access. So an overview or a summary of what we are going to do as a motivation so in this department for instance employees are actually linked to this department so what I want us to do is that once we select a particular department Microsoft Access shows us the employees in the selected department in a sub form and at the end of the day we put a button here that we can click and export the results out of Microsoft Access into either HTML file, Excel file, .xlx file or also txt file so guys without no much we do let us jump into the tutorial okay so these are the tables that we are going to be working with copy of department copy of employee so employees and then uh, these two tables are actually linked so if you want to confirm the relationship you go to database tools relationships and now you can see that they are indeed linked here okay so now the first thing that we do is that we are going to create a query so we are going to create a query so we go to create query design now we go to copy of departments uh, sorry so it's supposed to be copy of employees instead so copy of employees okay so now here what we do is that uh, we, we, we just put in here the fields that we would like to actually have in the exported uh, results so we say employee ID first name last name I would like to see gender telephone and then also email should come then the department okay so now having done this we because of the relationship that exists we need to add a department id here so we click now copy of department so you can see the relationship is still in place so we add a department id also to it so now we run a, we run a query here so this is a resource so let us save the query right click save now we say employees department data okay all right so now that we are done we are going to create a tabular form based on this particular resource here so you're going to create now here we go to form wizard so we click here to add everything yes now so how do you want to view your data by copy of department no by copy of employees good so you go to next now i want a tabular form yes okay so i will say employee employees list now we can view the form directly to view or enter information or also go to the design view so let us go to the design view and do some couple of changes all right so now the few things that i would like us to do is that we extend this field so department id needs to be extended okay now also your department so basically what you do here you're not going to do much on the form design i have a lot of videos in my channel that teaches how to design forms in microsoft Access. you can check them out and i believe that it's going to actually be of help so we are not going to do much on this now i just want everything to show neatly so that we can confidently move on okay so here i'll say employees so these are the employees here all right now let us right click form view and now we have this here now the next thing is that this form shouldn't allow we are not going to use this as a data entry form it's only going to display information so we need to disallow the add mode so we go to design view we click here now here under data allow additions we set it to no allow edits and then deletion you can actually uh, do that based on your own specifications so now we cannot add records on this form now the next thing is that we open department in design view and then we drag employees list up to the side so now we've been able to bring the employee list form as a sub form here so now you can see that we have it as a sub form here okay so let's shrink the size a bit now okay so now i will expand this okay now we shouldn't forget to set the format the anchors and the format so horizontal anchor we set it to both vertical anchor also we set it to both all right so now let us go to the form view to see what we're actually doing 
so here if i go to form so here you can see that these are the employees in the administration department so once you go to human resource we have one person in human resource so information technology we have nobody marketing we have uh, one person in marketing okay so this is exactly what we wanted to actually uh, achieve now it is pre pretty much amazing once we select uh, the department microsoft access will give us the employees in the selected department now uh, maybe you might not actually have this working when you fill the form so in case you encounter that problem what you do is i go to design view of the form now select the sub form you go to data tab so here you can see that there has been a linkage between the original form or this is the parent form and the sub form and the keys that are access has automatically detected that there are unique fields having these uh, two forms in common so or the record sources in common which is a department id and department id so in case yours was not properly linked you just have to come in here you click the builder icon now you can just choose the common fields that they are having to create a relationship okay so now the next thing is that we add a button that will do the export for us so here i'll right click here and then copy i'll paste here so i'll bring this one neatly here before then let me actually send this one here okay so here i will say export department data okay so export department data so now if you click this button it's supposed to be able to export so example here human resource we have two people so once we click export department microsoft assets automatically export only the records that we have here for us okay so the next thing that we do is that now we come to the employee department data query we create a duplicate of it so right click copy now you paste so here we can say department data export so this is the department data export now you shouldn't worry each record that you enter here in the tables will automatically reflect in all the queries because they are all having the same uh, they were building the same table so department data export now you're going to apply a filter to the department id column here so let's go to design view once again so here in department id what we do is that right click you go to build sorry now we are applying a filter and the filters are always entered ag along the criteria row so which field do you want to apply a filter on? We want to apply a filter on department ID. So criteria of department ID, you right click, now build. Okay, so here we go to, we click to show the database, which is alpha project. So we click all the forms now, select all forms. So which form? Department. Okay, so now here in department, which field are we filtering against? The department ID. So this is it. So now this is what Microsoft Access has actually used as a filter. So it opens to show as the uh, current department's data. So now, okay, and we save. Okay, so now having done this, the next thing that you do is that you go to your department form. So here under export department data. Now we are going to need the name of this department data export, the one, the query that we apply the filter. So right click copy the name so the name will be needed now right click here build event macro okay so here we say export with formatting so this is the default command or function in microsoft uh, access query that we are, uh, macros that we are going to use so the object type is query we want to export query and the name is department data so auto start is yes because always i set it to yes because i want to see the results so i say save now okay all right so guys now we are actually done so let us test it out so for example we are in administration department so let us click export department data so now it's access which file do you want to actually export so let's say one test file so select test file okay okay so here access prompts you to select a location let me put it to desktop so auto start is selected i'll hit okay now in few minutes we'll see the result so here you can see still access has actually 
been able to do the export for us just showing us only the selected department so now let us do for one more department so let's say administration so administration now once you go to administration exports so we select cst of course we have already done for administration so let's choose a different department so let's say marketing we have one person so which is sandra isi so export now let's say this one, i want to export to excel so we select excel workbook okay okay now in few minutes depending on how speedy your computer lays it opens to show you your results so here we go okay so here you can see that we have uh, the employee in the marketing department so if you have tons of lists in your uh, sub form they will all be exported to your selected uh, extension that you actually chose so we have come to the end of this particular video of course there are a lot of ways that you could actually manipulate this you could now um, in the next video we shall try to actually write some VBA codes that uh, in case a department has no records here it is actually going to um, this allow a user from clicking this particular button but then this has been a very basic one and i believe it has actually helped us if you have a comment kindly put it in the comment section and i will attend to it if you also want to engage me outside this particular community feel free to check in the description of any of my videos for my email or whatsapp number you just hit me up and then we just take it further okay guys see you in the next video thank you subscribe and then also like the video bye